here we have a data of US population year wise year so we can load that load census so this data is provided by MATLAB by default it comes with the MATLAB you only need to write this command there load census and then you will notice here it will load two variable one is the C date that is uh, that is census date and then population now we need to plot this data and we can plot population against the C date and we are going to use red color to, to populate it so now you can see here a figure has been popped out and as you can see here since 1800 the data is available and uh, it is uh, increasing okay exponentially kind of thing so the population is increasing here very fast now you need to come into the tool and uh, then you need to go into basic fitting so once you click a basic fitting it will open a pop-up window here and then you can click here it will so a next panel and then again once you can click it it will show here another panel in which you can find out in between values so here we are going to select a cubic fitting so once you select a cubic fitting it says that polynomial is badly conditioned add points with the distinct x values that means we need to select here center and scaled x data so once we select here center and scale data and now we can get here our coefficients so these are the fitting coefficients and here is fitting equation so it will fit it into cubic cubic uh, polynomial so p1 into z cube plus p2 into z square plus p3 into z plus p4 and the sigma is 62 and uh, mu, mu that is mean it's 1890 right now you can select here so equation once you select a so equation it will show here equation now you can see here plot residual now it will plot its residual that is right that is you can see here uh, residual means the difference right year on year a difference so the population is increasing and decreasing increasing and decreasing it just kept like that okay and now suppose that if you want to calculate some value here in the middle let's say the value is present here 1950 right and let's say we we want to calculate a value into 1955 then what you can do you can select here 19 and then 55 and then it will evaluate this value and it has found out that value here at a 19 55 that is somewhere here and this says that this value is how much this is 168 that value is 168 right okay so now one more thing what we can do uh, we can plot this evaluated result and you will see here that y equal to fx okay now we can also select here so norm residuals once you select here so norm residuals so here normalized residual will be shown and the normalized residual is 12.238 apart from this now we can close this uh, fitting window once we close this fitting window now we can go into insert and then we can add here our title so that here title is US population data and then we can go for X label year and then we can go for Y label population right Great. so the population is in million here and uh, in the similar way we can go for this this equation also right so if you insert x so here 
it's a year we can go for this graph as well that's the year and then we can select here that's the residual right so this is all about how you we can uh, do a uh, polynomial fitting by using uh, into a figure and uh, in the final stage we can generate a code so we need to click on this generate code once you click on the generate code it will generate a code here and now we can here now uh, we can uh, give here let's say uh, name and we can say here US population right US uh, population plot so once it is created and then we can save this now we have saved it now we can close this window and now let me show you that once again whatever we have done there editing now these editings are stored into US population plot function so now we need to pass here first date and then population and then we are going to plot here into let's say green color and star now you will see here it has plotted the same uh, you know the same result something is missing there it says that input value must evaluate to a real scalar vector of matrix so at line number 94 there is a little error but it's a fine it is working perfectly so let's see line number 94 what it is saying that here right so by loose to evaluate that was the problem actually um, here this we need to pass on the date when we want to evaluate right so let's say we want to evaluate at 1995 now we need to pass it now here you will see here 1995 so the 1995 value is here okay perfect so now it has uh, it is working perfectly as expected so this is all about how you can do your uh, linear fitting or uh, polynomial fitting into your uh, data at, uh, by using MATLAB uh, figure and then finally how you can generate a code what your fitting you had done interactively okay so thank you so much for watching this video in the next video I'll cover how you can fit your uh, data using programming method Bye-bye. Have a nice day.